Explain like I'm five. Does actually taking a hot shower and going out in the cold result in catching a cold? Or have I just been lied to my entire childhood? No. You don't get a cold from body temperature but rather the germs you get that result in whatever sickness. When your body temperature drops it just lowers its natural defense and allows germs to get through and cause its damage easier than at optimal health. No. If it did, no one would live in Alaska, or Norway, or Greenland, or, well, you get the picture. No it does not. This will probably have negligible effect. The common cold is not one disease, but a variety of rhinoviruses, adenoviruses and coronaviruses, not to be confused with the coronavirus, usually meaning SARS-CoV-19, and some others which cause fairly similar symptoms in humans. Spread of many of these viruses is better in weaker immune systems, and in higher humidity. So cold feeling weather, which often is actually just higher humidity can increase viral transmission. The common cold is what we call the symptoms caused by a few different virus families, rhinoviruses, coronaviruses etc. To get infected the virus has to, successfully, get into your body. Viruses need a host to multiply and infect others. If there are no viruses, e.g. because you are alone in the middle of the Antarctic and also didn't bring any viruses on your hands or equipment, you can't catch one. I guess you could still get a bacterial infection since bacteria are basically everywhere. I asked my daughter's pediatrician this once because Mill was always concerned about taking her out in the cold. He said being in the cold doesn't make you sick, and that his mother was always concerned about the cold as well. He said he just bundled up his kids to make mom happy. Tears of joy. Not for me. It's one of my favorite pastimes. In the coldest dead of winter I open the bathroom window so that it is freezing in there. I then take a hot shower and at the end step out wet into the freezing air and just stand there steaming in all of winter's glory. Feels amazing. I don't think I've ever had a cold in my life. Being significantly cold is a stress. Having a cold virus, or bacteria, in your body actively trying to infect you, is a stress. Your body can only tolerate so much stress before it weakens. So while being cold on its own won't make you sick, being cold while you've been exposed to a virus may make it more likely that that virus will take hold in your body and make you sick. Being sleep-deprived or overworks will also make you more likely to get sick when you wouldn't get sick otherwise. So in general it's a good idea to avoid getting too cold. Unless you are doing some Wim Hof intentional cold exposure. Every day I wash in a hot shower then turn it to cold for a few minutes before getting out. Never had a cold since. That's over one year now. Cold weather actually suppresses most illnesses in the wild, exactly as you'd expect. The reason humans tend to get sicker is because they stay in closed spaces with friends more often in the winter. Cold can potentially decrease your immune response, but this isn't a realistic concern unless you're in fairly dire straits already. Yes, you've been lied to your whole childhood. Some physical effects of being cold, like a runny nose, are similar to symptoms of the common cold. A long time ago, before anyone knew better, some old wives made the connection and assumed being cold caused the common cold. Yes, you were lied to. Body gets sick from germ, bacteria, parasite, fungus, virus, infection. Going into cold weakens the body, but it is not direct reason for sicknesses. You could, evolve, immunity for such weakening by regularly taking cold showers, baths, like Eastern Slavs and Scandinavians do and also cold wouldn't have such strong effect on you overall. It might lead to your nose running, which might be a pathway for germs to enter your body. When you take a shower you end up getting wet. Even if you dry off as best as you can you still end up with a lot of water on your skin and in your hair. And this water does transfer heat much better than dry skin. As you go out into the cold you will therefore transfer more body heat to the cold air than if you were completely dry. This lowers your body heat causing the body to react in several different way to conserve heat. And several of these ways reduces your ability to fend off new infections. This means that when you are freezing outdoors and someone coughs near you due to having a cold then this is more likely to create a deeper infection than if you were warmer. So instead of getting a tiny infection that may last for as short as a few minutes or even just an hour it might end up lasting for days and be more serious. So it is not actually the shower and going out in the cold which cause you to get a cold but it does mean that if you happen to catch a cold it could last for longer and become noticeable.